If your project is bound to Git, like mine is right here, you're going to see on your source control ribbon lots of buttons. And these right here are ones that you are particularly going to use a lot as you do your work. And I especially want to talk about this synchronize button. Now, these buttons are listed here in this order because this is kind of the order in which you work. You're making changes in your topics and it is computing the changes. So in this example, I've made changes to some music topics. This one right here, South by Southwest in Austin City Limits. I've made a change. I've made changes in each of those files. So I get the number three down here. I need to make a commit. What you can do is just kind of work in logical chunks. So maybe I made changes to these music topics. Maybe it took half an hour. Okay, now I'm ready to commit these so I can add a comment. It's kind of a generic message, made some changes, commit that, and look at my buttons down here. It moved, the number moved from here to one. So I have one commit I need to push up. If you make a mistake, you can revert out of that. But then the correct order is to pull and then push. So you're pulling changes from the remote repository. So you get changes from other authors and then you push your changes up. But the synchronize button is great because it does both of these in the correct order. So normally I'll click this button or I just click down here. And what it's going to do is in order, it's going to pull right here. Same as clicking this button tells me that everything's up to date. Now it starts pushing things up to the repository. Same as pushing this button. Just don't feel the need to constantly click synchronize or any of these buttons because it could be that you just sort of jam things up and then you got to call technical support. 